<laughs> Round two. I feel like with my like wheezy laugh, it I sound like it's much more of an evil laugh than normal. Mm. Ooh. Whoa. I don't know what this deck he was playing, but... <laughs> You're not familiar with this deck? I'm not, I'm not familiar <laughs> with the gifts. <laughs> well, you're about to be familiar with it. Uh-huh. Jamie playing Blue-Red Gift Storm, which has uh, surged it in is, popularity. It is done very well lately. Um... Again, like the meta shifts from time to time, right? We can see it beginning of the year, post banning of, you know, our, our cheat look at our hand, look at your opponent hand, draw a card, you know, Cataxian Pro. You still upset about Cataxian Pro? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not as upset, but I I loved in fact when it had Cataxian Pro, mm -hmm. but I you know a lot of people did. A lot of people hated it. Well, you know, yeah. if they didn't ban Gitaxian Probe... Death Shadow would be even better. Well, not only <laughs> that, but think about Storm. Yeah. If Storm got Baral, Chief of Compliance, and they decided to add gifts on top of already having Gitaxian Probe, yeah. no way. Just <laughs> no, no way. No way. Good job, Wizards. So talk about the, the updated Storm. Like, what is make this deck better than previous so versions. so like the the storm deck of yore if it were you know way back when mm -hmm. you know it was running cards like pyromancer's ascension yeah um i think that's the card that they got rid of right like that's the only card pretty much like they had they tweaked it slightly yeah. from it like so, the different draw spells and stuff that aren't in there now because right. they don't need them pyromancer's ascension is a sweet card to have in the storm deck however it's kind of slow so what they so what they did was is they updated the storm list with gifts ungiven, which allows the player to look for four cards and then put the opponent in the driver's seat on which cards you get to keep and which cards go to the graveyard. Spoiler alert: the deck still runs past in flame, so you get to cast those cards <laughs> either way. Um, so it's just it's more optimized, I think. Yeah, and then there's another creature now to reduce the cost of stuff. oh yeah so. Gifts so could normally cost four, right. but it's like, oh, it's three, or it's two. Or it's two, like, yeah. So it runs, now it runs a smattering, like a split mm -hmm. of, uh, here's a Spire Bluff Canals into a Serum Visions. It runs Baral Chief of Compliance, which is a legendary creature. Yes. Uh, and I think I see one right there in but the scry. He is easier to cast because it's colorless and a blue. Right. For a 1-3. Correct. Oh, he's already got one in hand, so we're good. Grave Shot, Baral. So now Electromancer plus Baral, Chief of Compliance, means there's more ways for me to cast spells at a very low cost. Opt. Yeah, sure. Doesn't want that one, though. Nope. It's all good. Doesn't have a second land, yeah, though. Yeah, that's, that's what he's digging that's for. That's risky. Now, the beauty is, is Jacob has only presented what looks to be blue-white control right now. Um, so he's not doing a whole lot himself, but he will have answers. <gasps> he's not found a second land. Ooh, to discard. Oh no, Ooh. he discarded a gifts. And Jacob is just laying lands down. Just laying them down. Still missing a land drop. Oh. So he had two gifts in hand. That's why he discarded the first. Because he still has one in hand. And, ja and Jacob's just saying, yeah, man, you're going to do your <laughs> thing, I'm going to do my thing. Maybe we'll interact with each other once. Steam vents off of that scalding tarn. I think Jamie has said I'm I'm good with this round. <laughs> Normally it's his opponents that are sitting there, F six, yeah, waiting to Whatever. die. Yep. And now, see it, you know. Show me the grave shot. <laughs> well, that's the other thing is, oh, Jacob also is known for running Nahiri. True. So turn four could be when he's like, all right, you now have a two turn clock before I kill you. Yeah. 
Pete just flies straight past, and Jamie oh, no. clearly drew a land. Well, that might be our quickest game tonight. <laughs> Five minutes. He's he's looking at. Oh, there they are. Found him. I was gonna say maybe he uh, decided to only do the one land, <laughs> one land deck. Definitely not the start the storm player wanted to have. No, that's not what he wanted to do. Like, and you know the other thing is, is he played what? He played a land. He played serum. He played opt. He opted a second time. He opted a second time. He showed a gifts. I mean, the jig is up at that point, right? Like, you you yes. should know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. So if you're sitting at a tournament and you're you're like, man, what is my opponent playing? He's playing blue, obviously, and red. Mm -hmm. But what is it? Serum plus opt plus gifts ungiven should give gifts, you the indication. Gifts is the real indicator because it's blue red. Now, right. Gifts could be in Esper list and other lists, and it could be some sort of reanimator strategy. But yep. because it's blue red, it is gifts, and it's going to be storm. Now you were on just kind of control for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to be bringing in against a gifts player? Well, Jacob and I are different, right? Well, like, yeah, because he runs the combo Nahiri right. style, where you were more of like, I like my spirits to come in and yeah, exile it's, your spells. Yeah, it's and, it's a. Te I like to play a tempo game. Yeah. Uh, when I play Jess guy, um, more than hard control, and uh, so for me, I would like to see the spell quellers come in. I think they're really solid uh, in this matchup as well because you kind of get to... That, that little disruption can make a big yeah, difference. Yeah, and th I mean, he, the Storm player, he or she has to give up a grape shot. You know, it's not running bolts. Some of them have them in the board. In the board, but, but you're, you don't yeah. really see them. Yeah. So what Especially are your Especially if answers? you're playing against control where you're like, I don't need to kill your creatures. Exactly. And uh, you know what you can get with a spell queller? Everything, pretty much. Literally everything in the deck. You can get gifts. Um, you you can't get a hard cast of Past and Flames. Yeah. You can't get that. Well, Past and Flames cost four. Oh, well, then you can't. But the flashback costs five. You can't get the flashback. Okay. Uh, all right, one land, I see. Yep, yeah. he's not doing that. So we played that game once. Yeah, we, not we're, a not, fan. we're not doing that again. It's definitely a, uh, a hard decision when you're like, all right, I'm going to keep a one lander. Like, oh my gosh. Bolt, Serum, <sighs> no, man, okay. Is it going to be a 10-minute round? Is that your call? Could be. It's possible. So this is also early in the tournament, right? Round two. Mm -hmm. But your deck's doing this to you. You f do feels you, bad. Oh my gosh! Like, how do you feel? Like, are you one of those players? That's oh, just, he kept it. That's just like, I'm going to um, do the. I'm going to drop after this, and just like I need a break from playing Magic right now. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so rewarded. Well, I guess he scried that, right? So scried the island to the top. Plays no, a he put he put he scried to the bottom. Oh, right, right. Yeah, he scried but, yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. So rewarded for rewarded. the scry. Jacob gonna go to nineteen. Nineteen. I, I just knew he would. Yeah. Sure. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even have to think about <laughs> didn't it. Didn't even have to worry. Scalding Tarn Pass. And, yeah, we're... We're in that... Uh, he's digging. He's digging. Give me a land. I don't know if it's land. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's... Hey, don't forget that card. He's tilting. <laughs> that's, that's, that's still a card in your hand. He's tilting. What? Well, like, things are so crooked right now. He's, I'm, he's like, so upset. His graveyard's coming off the I battlefield. Feel really, I feel really bad. Can you feel... Like, I, I like, 
Yeah, he doesn't care. This Get is, that away from me. <laughs> it's, it's You're going to play so a third land, I'm going to be pissed. fascinating to watch the body language of the players. Like, you could see it from Lyle when in the first round, yeah. where he's like, I've got no lands. Yeah. Like, i got all this stuff, I can't do anything. And now it's like Jamie who's like, ah, I, if only I could draw a land. And now it's just like... Hmm. We don't even have our salt cans on. Nope. <laughs> it's probably for the best. <laughs> it's probably... Jamie's like, checking the time, like... Do I have time to get, you know, like, go is, outside? Is this round over you yet? Yeah, like... Can I play, like, two more rounds in between this? Like, what do, what do we got going on? Hey, here's a... Here's a fourth land. <laughs> uh, sleight of hand. Let's dig. Now, the sleight of hand's our sign that Jamie has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's played three in this yeah. game. <laughs> I assume he plays a play set. Zero. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think... Yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. Pass. Damn. Bolt you. Yep. Sure. He likes you. He likes you. you. Wow. I'll go to 21. You go to 14. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Calling it off the top. Here's a third land. It's an island. Oh, now I can finally start doing things. I feel great. As much as as much as we joke, though, like here comes another bolt. Um, if Jacob taps out, you know the potential is is that Jamie could just draw into the craziness. <laughs> like <laughs> he's done. He's, my man's done. He's he can't do it anymore. And let's just he just can't do it. He just can't do it. I, I don't blame him. Like I don't mean to laugh, but I love watching like Jamie's body language during that. Like, because I feel like either of us would have had the same reaction in his spot of just like, "Come on, deck. We did this the first game, and now I've done three sleight of hands, a serial literally vision, nothing, nothing. Just help me just out. Come on, what Please. is going on? Please give me something." Like, because I think everybody who's played Magic has been in that spot before. Like, you know that feeling. Like, it's just, it sucks. It does suck. So. Round three. Dude, I told you. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, we're flying. What? You're like, oh, man, we're going to do nine rounds tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we're flying. John, Matt Hart.